Hi, I'm Hank from the YouTube channel SciShow. And just to warn you, this activity is gonna get groovy because we are going to build a lava lamp. If you have a lava lamp at home, and let's be honest, you probably don't, but if you do, it probably works because of heat. My lava lamp is going to work a bit differently, but you can still learn some cool science because of it. This experiment is pretty simple. You'll just need a test tube, some fizzing color tablets, warm water, and vegetable oil. First, add the vegetable oil to one test tube until it's about three quarters of the way full. Then fill the rest of the tube with water. Once the water is pretty settled here, we're gonna drop a fizzing color tablet into the tube, or into each of the three tubes, depending on what you decided to do. Yellow, blue, Purple, red, maybe, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I love it. It's like a lava lamp. Okay, so here's what happened. I started off with two nice, neat layers of oil and water, but when I added the fizzing color tablet, things got interesting. That's because the tablet is made of baking soda and citric acid. Those things fizz and dissolve when they touch water. So when the tablet hit the water at the bottom of the tube, it made a bunch of bubbles. Those colored bubbles then floated up through the oil to the surface. Then the gas escaped, and the bubble of water fell back down because it's denser than the oil. That means that one drop of water is heavier than one drop of oil. Now take your lava lamp and put a cap on it or put your finger over it and see if you can get these things to mix. They never quite do it, and if you do get them mixed, they'll separate themselves again. And I love how pretty and beautiful it is. Look at those little beautiful bubbles. No matter how hard I tried, I could not get my oil and water to mix. And that's not because I did the experiment wrong, it's because oil and water have different chemical properties. Water is made of pieces called polar molecules, and oil is made of nonpolar molecules. Despite the name, this doesn't have anything to do with temperature or polar bears. Whether a molecule is polar or nonpolar depends on its shape. Polar molecules want to stick together with other polar molecules, and the same is is true of nonpolar molecules. This means water and oil will always separate. Thanks for watching.